into the mold cavities. After the cavities fill, a little more plastic is forced in. This is called packing the mold. Packing compresses additional plastic into the cavity. The screw is held forward under pressure until the gates freeze. This traps the plastic inside the cavities. Now the pressure on the screw can be released, and the screw rotates back to melt and convey the next shot of plastic ahead of the screw. During this time, the plastic in the mold is cooling. When the parts are cool enough to hold their shape, the mold opens, the parts are ejected, and the cycle is repeated. The development of good part quality with high production efficiency begins in pre-production, before you start to mold. Two key areas you should be familiar with are the material characteristics and the machine and mold combination. If you are molding an unfamiliar plastic, you should refer to the material specification sheet to learn its characteristics. The information included in the spec sheet will help you determine the initial control settings for that material. For example, the spec sheet will list whether or not the plastic raw material is crystalline or amorphous. Some examples of plastics that are amorphous are acrylic, polystyrene, polycarbonate, polysulfone, and ABS.